Ethereum developers agreed on February 28 as the target date for pushing the Sepolia test network through the Shanghai upgrade, the blockchain's big upcoming move to allow withdrawals of staked Ether. Sepolia, a closed testnet for the Ethereum developers only, is the second such network to undergo the upgrade. Earlier this week, the Zhejiang testnet ran its own successful simulation of staked ETH withdrawals. There's one more test network set to get the upgrade and then the main Ethereum blockchain is expected to undergo the Shanghai hard fork next month. The Sepolia testnet is close to developers who run validators on the network. By contrast, Zhejiang is a public testnet, meaning that it was open to anyone, including staking providers who wanted to practice the release of staked Ether. After a Sepolia goes through its own round of testing, Goeli will be the final testnet to get the Shanghai upgrade. Goeli will be the most anticipated test, given that it is the largest public Ethereum testnet, representing the last chance for staking providers to ensure that staked ETH withdrawals work before Shanghai goes live on the mainnet. According to a 9th February report by the Information, Microsoft has ended a project that aimed to encourage the use of Metaverse in industrial environments just four months after it was formed. According to the report, the team's 100 members have been laid off, citing a person with direct knowledge of the situation. According to the source, the company prefers to prioritize short-term projects over those that require more time to generate meaningful revenue. The layoffs are part of Microsoft's larger plan to lay off 10,000 employees or about 4.5% of its workforce announced last month. According to its annual report to the US Securities and Exchange Commission, PayPal held a total of $604 million in Bitcoin, Ether, Litecoin and Bitcoin Cash for its customers as of December 31st. Almost 90% of the funds were split between the two most valuable cryptocurrencies in terms of market capitalization, $291 million in BTC and $250 million in ETH. LTC and BCH make up the remaining $63 million. PayPal did not differentiate between the two. The figure compares to $690 million at the end of September and it corresponds to a period when crypto valuations plummeted following the collapse of exchange FTX. That's all in the bulletin. This is me, Vishakha, signing off. For more such updates, keep watching Free.O TV. Do like, share and subscribe to our channel.